Okay, here I have all the parts for my OS40 FSR engine. They've basically been waiting for this, a new replacement ring, which I got from Gavin Carter in the UK. This ring came nicely wrapped, and it came with an instruction sheet, or at least a sheet of other rings that he supports. Looks like there might be some instructions on here. So anyway, this is the part I've been waiting for before I'd already replaced the bearings on this thing. So this thing is pretty much ready to reassemble now that I've got bearings. And the ring. So I'm going to start by reinstalling the ring on here. part of installing the ring is getting this bag open. Okay, there's the ring. There's my nice piston. I didn't take too much time to clean this up any better. I still have the old ring here. I just want to make sure real quick that this be cleaned out. I really didn't do much with it after I took it apart. Just make sure that one One thing I did not do was I never actually pulled this clip out of here and pulled this piston wrist pin out, which I guess I could probably do real quick here, but real careful. So I went ahead and disassembled, <coughs> I took the connecting rod off and the wrist pin and all that good stuff so I could put this ring on. So I've got it all lubed up here. I'm about to install this ring. So i got to find where the pin is. And I'm just going to kind of very gently walk this thing down into place. Loosely, it feels like it wants to rotate around, like that pin is not protruding enough. But I think once I get it in in the cylinder and compressed, it doesn't feel like it's going to want to rotate. So <clears throat> we're going to leave it like that and see how that goes. Let me move this stuff up. Move my piston pin up. Looks like somebody's had this engine apart before because it looks like there's a B <coughs> kind of scribed on the connecting rod to indicate the back of the engine. And I know that this piston has an arrow on the top of it pointing towards the exhaust. So let's hope that inscription there is correct. Because there is a slight slight difference in the cutout here. But to me it looks like there's a slight difference anyway. Now the kicker is going to be to try and get these little these pins back in, or these retainers back in place. Okay, now the kicker is going to be this ring is rotated. I got to make sure that when I install this, that ring doesn't rotate on me. So my sleeve comes out here. What I'm hoping to try to do is this. Exhaust port lined up here. Drop it in. Now all I gotta do is take the screw. 
screws out. We can go ahead and put the head on. Drop a little bit of oil in these screw holes. gasket. <clears throat> All these gaskets came off nice and easy. Put this back on here. Okay, next let's move up this front thing here, put the bushing on. Obviously that's not going to rotate this thing through yet because it's not pressed in place. This carb is in good shape, so I didn't really see a need to disassemble it. If I start to have an issue with it, then maybe I will. Okay, find a glow plug that I actually plan on using because that one has an idle bar and I don't plan on using that. Find another suitable MC59 plug here. That's not one. It's this one. Even better. An OS number eight. Seems to glow okay. Let's give that one a shot in here. I'm just going to strap any old prop to this thing just so I can kind of rotate it through a couple times. It seems like it's going to have good compression. should sound like. It's got decent compression there. Now all I gotta do is get the muffler in that I had to order because the person I bought this engine from 
did not send the muffler like they were supposed to and it doesn't appear they're going to so this engine can't be run or sold until I get the muffler for it.